What's up guys, this is Theo here and welcome to my new series. I'm really excited about this on, um, I'm sure you can see right here, Free Code Camp. So um, we're going to literally go through this whole thing. Uh, it says here this is 20, 20, 2080 hours or 2080 hours of coding experience. Uh, as the, At the time of making this video, I have about, uh, today the 15th, I have seven, seven months of experience as a web developer and I learned how to code um, starting August uh, like 3rd 2015 so I've been coding for a little over a year like 13 months at this point um, and seven months of experience as a web developer so um, a lot of this will be easy for me but um, this is a brand new account I made so you can see one and just to show you this is me this is my YouTube channel right here uh, there it is and uh, just to prove to you guys. But um, so anyways, we're gonna start out with front end development and we're gonna work through all of this stuff, like literally all of this stuff, you know? I didn't see anyone on YouTube who's gone through everything on here, but that's what we're gonna do. And I know some of it's gonna be really, really, really tough, but um, we're just gonna dive into it. So uh, see if we can uh, start out with, uh, with the, uh, with the first, uh, the front end stuff. So I'm gonna go as far as I can tonight. Um, but, uh, I need to join GitHub, let me see. I don't think I do. I'm not gonna do that right now. I have another account, basically, but uh, it's not letting me link it up, or link my GitHub up with this because there's already a uh, account associated with it. So we're just gonna jump right into the HTML and CSS. And uh, let's get started. So uh, let me just do one thing real quick. Let me, uh, let me go into here and let me, uh, where do I change this real quick? About, how do I, let's see if I can't change this real quick. Oh, show it. Take settings. Turn that off real quick, and um, let's go into the map. Let's go back to say hello. Um, so to pass the test, change your h ones elements text to say hello world. Let's run that. Cool. Let's see it outputted right here. So again, if you're watching this video, I assume you have a little bit of familiarity with HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Um, you know my approach if you've been watching my videos. I go straight to the instructions. If I, then, if I, then if I can't figure it out, I'm going to go read about what they're uh, asking me to do. But uh, I like to jump right in. Okay, so uh, next one up. Um, what do we want to do? Create an H2 element. Okay, so we're going to create our H2. And um, uh, should have the text cat photo app h1 should be hello world and we can see it's right there cool and uh, let's go ahead and run our test and woohoo so let's move on create a p element below uh, your h2 and uh, we want to give it the text hello paragraph cool so let's run our test looks like it's good to go so these are gradually going to get harder um, so uncomment your h1 h2 and paragraph elements so let's remove this and remove that. Let's run our test. We got everything. Uh, next up, com uh, comment out your H1 element and your P element, but leave your H2 uncommented. So let's just do that. Let's run our test. Run our test. Um, let me hit that again. I don't know why it's not. It's not responding. Um, let me reset this. Clear our code, and uh, let me try this one more time. Leave your H2 element uncommented, or wait, comment out your H1 and your P element. Ah, oh, my bad. Uh, so I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna do, um, do, 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 my bad, let me do that, and uh, do that, and that, and let's run our test, there we go. All right, um, 
Place the text inside your p-element with the first uh, few words of this kitty of some text. Okay, so let's replace the text. Do 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 in paragraph. So we run our test. Cool. Let's now move on and uh, delete your h1 element. Leave your h2 element. Leave your paragraph element. Cool. Let's keep going. Um, change your h2 element style so that its text color is red. So we'll say style equals, and we'll give it a key of color and a value of red. All right, let's run our test. Cool. Um, so using CSS selectors, let's remove the style attribute from your H2 element. Okay, so we'll remove it. Uh, create a style element. Okay, so let's do that. Style, style. Uh, give some space right here so we're going to declare our styles and uh, h2 should be blue color blue and uh, alright looks good let's move on um, so it says inside your style element change the h2 selector to red text uh, red text and uh, update the color value from blue to red. So we'll say red. And then we'll give our h2 a class of red text. And now this should change to red. Cool. Let's move on. Um, apply the red text class to your h2 and p elements. All right. So what we're going to do that is um, inside of here, I'm also going to give this a class of red text. I should change this to red. Cool. And uh, let's submit that. Uh, see what we're up up for next. Um, inside the style tag that contains your red text class, create an entry for p elements and set the font size to 16 pixels. So paragraph and font size is 16 pixels. Let's run that. And what does it say? Elements and create an entry for elements is at the font size to 60, 16 pixels. Uh, let me try this one more time. Need two elements inside the key kitty. Okay. Um, oh, okay, my bad. See, I don't read all the instructions. Class equals red text. Close that off. And then inside of here, um, we're going to put in put this text. There we go. And let's run our test now. Not add the class attribute. Okay, again, I'm failing to read instructions. And uh, cool, we got it all. Let's move on. And uh, now, make all of your P elements use the monospace font. So we'll say font family. I'm going to pass it. This value of, of uh, mono space. Let's run our test. Cool. Uh, next one, apply the font family of lobster to your h2 element. So we're going to grab h2, give it a font family of uh, lobster. Lobster. See that changed? And uh, import the lobster font. My bad. So let's grab this at the top of our code. Yeah, import it and we can now we can see that this has indeed changed let's run our test and good to go all right um, so comment out call to google fonts that the lobster font isn't available notice how it degrades to the monospace font so what we're going to do now is uh lobster font isn't available so it degrades to we're going to comment this out and now, run this, and it has indeed picked up the monospace. All right, next one is, uh, if you have an image element, so we give an image element, um, image and source, and alt equals, and we'll close it off like that. So now we'll say, source attributes that points to the kitten image, and here's the kitten image. So basically, we're just going to take this instead, and uh, we're going to put that right there 
and um, there it is source attribute that points to the kitten and why is it not try with this image I guess it doesn't like that oh my bad sorry okay here we go here's our kitten let's run it cool um, next one up is create a class called smaller image dot smaller image and then uh, resize the image so that it's only a thousand a hundred pixels wide so we'll say width is 100 pixels and uh, we'll give this a class now of a uh, smaller image and we should see this image shrink there we go and let's run our test looks like it's good to go next up is uh, create a class called thick green border dot thick green border and this is going to apply a border of 10 pixels um, solid and uh, 10 pixels solid green and then we want to get, apply this to our image as well so it's a smaller image and then we also want to give it thick green border and then we should see this border there you go and um, let's run our test passes. Now um, next one will be um, your image element. Your, your image should have border radius of 10 pixels so we will say uh, border radius 10 pixels and you can see what this does it sort of um, makes it more circular. Alright let's go on to the next challenge. Give your cat photo a border radius of 50% so this will give it almost an exact circle let's see it there it is and um, all right next one up is uh, your element should have the anchor text and then let's close that off of cat photo okay so say cat photo that's what we want to say as the text and then it's going to link to freecodecamp.com. Awesome. So you can see right down here uh, in the bottom left hand corner of my browser where it's uh, actually linking to. And let's run this. And I uh, should have, oh, sorry, cat photos. My bad. Cat photos. And let's run this again. There we go. Next up will be. Uh, Create a new P element around your A element. So we'll say P and uh, P. Uh, your A element should be nested within your P element. Your P element should have the text view more. All right, and uh, let's run this. Cool. Um, your A element should be a dead link with an href attribute set to um, the pound, which means it's not going to go anywhere. Let's just change this out to pound. So now if you were to click it, it will just take you back to this exact challenge. I don't ever really want to click it yet. So it won't do anything. It will just um, keep you on the page you're at. Let's run that. And let's move on. Um, nest the existing image element within an A element. So we'll say href equals. And then we're going to close this off. We're going to grab this closing tag. Take it right there, and um, href it should be a dead link, and then let's run it, and that looks good. So next up is uh, remove the last two p elements and create an unordered list of three things that cats love at the bottom of the page. Okay, so we're going to remove these, and we're going to create a list, uh, unordered list. So we're going to create ul and a closing ul and then inside of here we're going to have okay I guess it does work inside of here we're going to have three list elements um, let me just try one more thing okay cool um, so we're going to have three list elements and um, we say cats love uh, yarn naps and milk I guess alright and let's run this and that indeed works for us uh, next up is create an ordered list of the top three things cats hate the most. So, so um, we're going to do 
we would do an ordered list. So what we do is we create an OL, and that tells the browser we want an ordered list. We do an li times three dogs, um, mice, and uh, I don't know, candy maybe. All right, so you can see the difference: ordered, unordered, bullets, and numbers. Okay. Um, next up is your app should have an input element of type text. This is going to allow the user to enter enter in some information, input type of text, and we can see we can indeed enter in something. Pretty cool. So let's run our test. And um, next up will be add a placeholder attribute to the input. So we're going to say placeholder. Get in here. Say placeholder equals um, cat photo URL, and we should see this is you know it's sort of grayed out, but this is the you know it goes away. It's just a placeholder, and um, cool. Let's run that. And I'm gonna do one more for this one, and then we'll move on in the next video. Um, so I gotta go to sleep here in a little bit. But uh, so that's your text element within a form element. So take that out and uh, we're going to create a form element, create a closing one and it has an action, which is submit cat photo. Um, I think by default, this is going to be a, a post, obviously, because it's a form. But what this is saying is when someone submits this form or clicks on a button to send it, if you don't know what that means, then this is going to go to an action on our back end, which is our server, that is called submit cat photo. And then there's going to be logic that processes what we sent. So let's run that, and that's good to go. So uh, next up, guys, we're going to be on, um, on 31. You can see we've already you know gotten through quite a bit. And um, yeah, guys, uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this series. But... Keep watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and always, guys, please subscribe to support the channel. It means a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.